Hi, I'm Jeremiah Schoenberg from SWD Earthane. I'm the technical support manager and we're going to be training how to do open and closed cell density tests today. So we're going to start with open cell. I've got a sample of open cell here that I've already cut. Most of the time you'll be cutting this in the field with a bat knife or a bandsaw blade works really well. So you can cut the sample very square and very straight. You don't want a lot of variations in the thicknesses or pushing it to cut it. You want to be able to use something that cuts very, very easy so it will cut through so you can get a nice square sample. The bigger the sample on open cell, the better. You got a, a little sample, it's going to, every little push, if you sweat on it, the oil from your skin will raise the density so you'll get a false reading. So you want to make sure you cut it very, very square and as big as you can. This one we've cut. So after you take the sample, you measure, you start with the, the width is about three and a quarter. The length is six inches. And then the height is two and a half inches. Then you weigh the sample for your grams. So we weigh it, it comes in at six grams. So then you input your length, your width and your height into our density calculator that will be part of your kit. And after you also enter the, the weight, which is six grams, the density calculator does everything for you. And this sample comes in at 0.46, which is well within parameters of, the, of that open cell product. We always recommend that guys do samples for the walls and roof, because of course, if you're doing a thicker pass in the roof line, you're gonna get a little bit lower density because of the reaction of the foam. So multiple samples per job are always recommended to make sure that you get an accurate reading for the whole job. So now we're gonna go from open cell density test training to closed cell density test training. We've got, still have our scale. The difference is we're gonna do displacement method with closed cell. We've, so we've got a thousand milliliter graduated cylinder for that, filled up to 500 with the water. The 500 is good because you don't, if with this, depending on the size of sample, it could overflow. So down 500 is about half, so it's easy to use. Once again, you start off with a nice square sample that you can easily fit into your cylinder and you start by weighing it comes out at 9.5 grams. After you weigh it, you go to the graduated cylinder. Just use a pan or stick or whatever you got to push it down so it just breaks the surface. Gives us about 800 milliliters. Once you've gathered all your measurements, you can open up the density calculator included in your SWD density kit. You can input the measurements gathered. Our measurements were as follows. The weight was 9.5 grams. The original volume was 500 milliliters. The new volume is 800 milliliters. Once you input all these measurements into your calculator, you should come up with a value. Our value was 1.98 pounds for our sample. We recommend that you take multiple samples to increase the accuracy of the density testing of the application. 